not yet. Only when, when we're doing the singing, I think. Yeah, when we start with Chantilly. Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, right, I'm going to hold this to me today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so hi. Whoops. Hi, I'm Lauren. Lauren Hope. I'm really grateful to be here and so grateful for everyone being here today. This is the beginning, a new beginning, a couple of new beginnings actually. It's a new beginning for Peace's Homeless Pet Project, which I will explain in a minute. Um, moving on TV, a positive TV station, and Hope Williamson, a new duo. Um, we met a week ago <laughs> in Costa. It was by pure coincidence. Um, I'll just tell you very quickly because it's funny, and I need to lighten the log before I tell you why I'm doing this. Um, there may be a few tears, mine. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I wanted more talented people to perform at the launches. So I walked into Costa that day by pure coincidence, just wanted to have a coffee. And I put uh, something on the board to say I'm looking for talent. Anyway, Stephen walks in and um, he sits down. And after about half an hour, I'm looking, there's no advert. So he gets up and he's sitting on top of my advert, okay? As I said, this is, you know, so I got a bit angry. <laughs> Why are you sitting? What happened to my advert? That's my first reaction. And I said to him, look, I'm looking for talent for my launches. And he said, you're kidding me? He said, I'm looking for a singer. And that's how it kind of started. And he said, uh, can you sing? I said, yeah. He said, can you do opera? I said, yeah. Um, <laughs> and that was it. He played me uh, quietly. I love, and I fell in love with that piece of music. Went over to his house that Sunday evening, recorded it on the spot. That's it. We're now working on um, a musical for mental health called Encounters, which I've written, which Stephen is arranging. We hope to go out gigging. That's our plan. This is our first ever performance. So you've got to go easy on us. As I say, this is, we've had like less than a week to rehearse. Um, and I've written a three-part opera so far in the last week since I met him. Very inspirational. And, and it's just clicked. It just clicked. So sometimes life happens like that. So now the sad bit. <laughs> okay. Um, this was my baby PC. He, he was my cat. And um, in March, I was evicted. Um, I was asked to, to leave. Um, my marriage had broken up and um, it was just me and Peace and Ellie, me and my two cats. And the landlord just wanted to sell the property, so there's nothing to do with the rent. And I just begged everyone to not let it happen. I didn't want to go through it. And so unfortunately it happened, things happened. He went blind and when we moved into our new place, he died a week later. So it broke my heart, and because the reason it happened is it's got to change, right? I, I want to get the basically the council didn't do anything. Um, I was I was um, evicted temporarily, and in the time before I could be actually housed. They didn't give, they didn't answer the phone, they didn't care. They just kept telling me to give up my animals. That was it. I said, no, I can't. I've got PTSD, I'm on my own, I'm not giving up my animals. So they didn't care. They did nothing. And I believe that he went blind because of the stress and died. And now we've got Peace's Homeless Pets Project in his name. So he's saving a pet from heaven. So you're all here kind of for that main reason. I run Moving On TV, which is a positive TV station where everybody is already a celebrity and where everybody deserves to be already be a celebrity with all our talents and it's very positive. And I'm taking this project on because my main objective is to get the council to change the legislation so they will put people with animals temporarily in accommodation somewhere. You know, the YMCA won't take you. And I, I, I thought, well, what if you're blind and you have a, gu a guide dog? They won't take you. It's preposterous. It's preposterous. People with animals are living on the street. The animals are dying. Not many people know this in High Wycombe and surrounding areas. Um, 
you can't give up your pets. Your pets are your life. They, I don't have kids. It was my baby, one of my babies. And, uh, but, you know, I'm a strong spirit and, I, and I'm using it in a positive way to get out there in any way I can with our music. We, we, we're asking for everybody to come on board and to help this happen. So to get the council to answer the phone, to change the legislation, to make sure that people, particularly with mental health issues like myself, we've all got mental health issues, it's the way we live. I don't like labeling people, but everyone's got something now, some kind of shock that we've been through without labels. Everybody deserves to be taken care of. And after you pay your council tax for 20 years, you don't expect to be just left. So as I say, I want them to change the law so that we can have temporary accommodation, that's it, like a couple of rooms where people with animals can be safe until they're housed. Um, and also to get landlords, estate agents, like there's houses lying empty everywhere. So that's the main objective. The big goal is to become a charity, and for that we have to raise 5,000 pounds, a lot of money, to become a charity. So I'm doing whatever I can to work for my charity. I don't have a job, this is my job. We're gonna go out, we're gonna try and earn a living as artists because we deserve it at long last to really, really get our talents out there. But the most important thing is that something changes in this area for people with pets, because anybody can be a victim. I didn't expect it, it happens. You know, and, and there's no mercy, I'll tell you that. My PTSD stems from sitting at night with Peace and Ellie, where are we gonna live? Nobody would have us, nobody. Nobody wanted us. And I'm not going into poor me, and I'm not blaming people. You know, I don't have family, and my marriage is broken up, and all these things happen for a reason. So, yeah. So that's why we're doing this. This is Peace, my baby. He was beautiful, he was a beautiful cat. Very loving, very peaceful, like his name. And I'm sure he's watching today. <clears throat> so, um, okay, so today, just to, uh, to introduce a little bit more, keep, if you keep an eye, tell me when it's eight o'clock. Um, so I'll shut up. <laughs> I'm doing, we're doing a raffle. We've, we've got some nice prizes that we were given from some people around and things and shops. Today we're raffling off a bottle of wine and we've got some chocolates. Um, but in the big, at the end of the launches, which is in Highwick, and we've got four launches. There's two in Marlow. So if you know anyone, the next one is Liston Road in Marlow, up the road on Saturday. We'll be performing and we've got some more people entertaining. And then we've got two in Wickham, one at the front room on the 8th of October and the Wickham Art Centre the 9th of October. I know you can't do that one, but the front room on the 8th. Everybody's invited and please take leaflets so you can get people to come along. Um, so the big uh, raffle will be done when we finish the launches. And I think the nicest prize we were given was from Azure Theatre School. They gave us a whole term for one of, if you, any, any of you have a child that likes dancing, performing. Um, we've got a, a free term at Azure Theatre Schools and they cover the whole of the area. Also, we've got tea, two vouchers for tea at the Ivy, and Sam's offering a voucher as well, tea here at Strawberry Grove. We've got books, uh, simply amazing books. We've got CDs. Um, you cannot, by the way, I'm sorry about the hard sell, uh, but <laughs> to become a charity, we need 5,000 pounds, so I'm just being honest. Um, this is the CD, you could pay five pounds upwards for it. It's got our signature song, I Wish You Peace, which I sing and I, I wrote, which you think is really good. And if he thinks it's really good, so that's enough for me. Um, and you can have tarot readings at the back, all on donation. So yeah, we've got a little bit of a program today. Um, so yeah, so basically if anybody wants to purchase raffle tickets, it's a pound a strip, 
forgive me, um, for anyone. And as I say, we've got a bottle of wine and some chocolates today for people to win. So, do you, do you want to do that while I'm talking? If anybody wants to buy any, would you mind? If anyone wants to buy any tickets. Thanks. Okay. And, and yeah, so we, we will start the entertainment at uh, 8 o'clock. So, I hope everyone's got their refreshments. Got their refreshments. Thank you. And um, yeah, if anybody's got any questions, um, please ask if you like as well. If you want to ask anything about Pieces Homeless Pets Project. Oh, Moving On TV is on YouTube. It's called Moving On TV Mental Health. And you can watch it on YouTube. And before you go, if you don't mind putting down maybe email addresses or contacts, that way I can keep in touch with you and let you know what we're doing. Thank you. And anyone who wants to perform or do anything, let me know because we're looking for talent. Always looking for talent. So anybody who wants to perform at any more of anything that we're doing, please let me know. Okay. Yeah, um, we were supposed to have a few more people here today, but um, doing doing um, massage and healing, but they will be hopefully on Saturday. Right. Your heart was in two. Hey guys, if you're tuning in on Facebook, this is Peace. <laughs> Oh, you want to run a strip? Okay. Is that one? Yeah. Two strips Oh yeah, yeah, it's going on. This is going on Facebook and YouTube. If anybody is tuning in, this is Pieces Homeless Pets Project. We're launching today in Marlowe's Strawberry Grove. Pam! I should be using my voice too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course you can. Yeah, no, the whole point is help Sam as well. Two pounds for the raffle yeah. so far, and I'll thank take the uh, uh, only four pounds. Okay, raffle. thank you. And do you want to write their names down so we know? Oh, yes. That would be handy, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, I want to thank Sam from Strawberry Grove for giving right. us the space to raffle? launch today. Yeah. Really, really grateful. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Okay. There's some fantastic cakes here, by the way. You're missing out if you're not. <laughs> Sam from Strawberry Grove is getting, he's, he's doing the coffees and everything. This is amazing. Really great. Thank you. Okay, so at eight o'clock, we're going to launch. So okay, we're going to start. So. Okay, so welcome officially to the launch of Moving On TV and the PHPP, Visa Summoners Pants Project. Thank you. Okay, we might start the entertainment already. Yes, let's start. Shall we? Shall we start the entertainment? We can have a little space. We're breathing spaces in between. I don't want it right in front of the screen. Just take the fingers yeah. off to one side. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've got time to set the camera up now if you want to. You don't want to. No. <laughs> it's going on. It's on Facebook and it's on YouTube, which I, it's all, so I'll be able to get that up anyway. Yeah. That's all. It's been anyway. Right. Okay. Fantastic. So, okay. So, as I said, we got together Saturday, last Saturday, was it? What day is it today? It's uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. We got together, was it Saturday before? I can't, the time's going so quickly, isn't it? And we've been rehearsing on and off. We chose a couple of songs, a couple of originals by myself. I'll introduce them as we go along. But this, I wish. <laughs> I wish I'd written this one, don't you? Oh, yeah. Don't you, Mr. Williamson? Yeah. You want to do a little bit of bantering there? <laughs> I wish I wish I'd written this one because I, uh, Rogers and Hammerstein I would have oh, been Hammerstein. famous. Oh, of course, yes. Really famous. So, as I say, go easy on us. This is our first ever performance as Hope Williamson, and we hope to take over the area. But to Barbara Middlesex, at least. <laughs> I mean, I have been to um, the Fringes. Um, I played the part of Edith Piaf 
in the fringes all over the country and Maria Callas. So, you know, so I have done stuff like that. <laughs> but this is a little bit more sedate. Okay, so when you're ready. called Encounters, which I said this is the main ballad of Encounters. Sorry, I'm not looking at you guys. I am. I'm just trying to go live on YouTube at the same time. Um, it's a ballad. It was written as a ballad, but because Stephen is such an incredible virtuoso, jazz pianist, I asked him that we could arrange it. So one day we were in the church in West Wickham, and I, t I asked him to follow me, to follow the melody. And this is incredible. Well, we got such a beautiful result. So, um, if you just forgive me uh, as I put this on again. So this is called Could This Be Love? And it's the jazz version. Okay. I don't know why YouTube keeps going off, but uh, it would be nice to have this live. So. Oh, I won't go live. There you go. Usually when I do when I do my shows, it's Edit Piaffa. I always have a tech. You know, I don't even know what a tech is. 
I mean, I'm living in 1940s France, yes? All we had was a piano, an accordion, <laughs> and a real instrument. Tech, giggle, gaggle, Google, for God's sake. <laughs> anyway, that's a little bit out of PF. <laughs> okay, when you're ready. <laughs> I transcribed 
um, from a record I listened to by uh, Miles Davis and uh, Victor Feldman, who was the pianist at the time. And this gave um, credit somewhat to Victor Feldman because he was playing with Miles Davis. And also, most of all, because it's a beautiful arrangement. So, um, this is my take on Victor Feldman and Miles Davis' Summer Night from Quiet Nights by Gil Evans and Miles Davis. 